I want to briefly talk about. Tell, don't ask. So the design principle says that you should tell and you should not ask. What does this mean? In this context, asking means checking a property of an object or running a method on an object and then somehow using the information that you get back to make some kind of decision. So, so if you're in a place in your code, you have access to an object, you ask the object something about its internal state, which could be that you check a property of it, or it could be that you run a method and get some kind of value back, or you run a function and get some kind of value back. With that information that you've gotten back, you then use that as a basis to make some kind of decision. So the classic scenario would be that you use it in an if, right? You use it in some kind of switch statement. So let's be even more precise. This means you have an object, say you have an animal, and you ask animal dot is hungry, right? You ask the animal whether the animal is hungry, and then you use that information, the, the bool that you get back, as the information you need to determine whether or not you should feed the animal, for example. So tell don't ask essentially says that what we are doing is that we are first asking the object a question and then telling it to do something. But in fact, in many cases, the object in question have enough information about itself to make the decision on sort of its own behalf. behalf. So let's be super specific about the scenario. So the code is this, we have an animal class, the animal class has a property, but in this case we'll, we'll view it as a method. So it has a method that is called is hungry, and it returns a bool. So if the animal is hungry, it returns true. If the animal isn't hungry, it returns false. And also the, the, the animal has another method called eat. So what we want to achieve here is that we only want to feed, we only want to call eat on hungry animals. So we want to first make sure that the animal is hungry when we have an instance, and then we call eat on the animal to make sure that we're feeding a hungry animal. So again, if we would be asking and not only telling, then we would first from the outside create an instance of the animal object, ask the animal whether it is hungry, and then if it is hungry, feed that animal. So you might think that the scenario is kind of silly because you would go, but who would write this kind of code? But if you start to think about it, you'll be surprised about how often we sort of spontaneously come up with this kind of code, right? We're so used to sort of introspecting objects, to asking objects about their internal state so that we can make decisions on their behalf. Of course, the, the tell don't ask principle in this case says that what we should actually do is not ask the animal about its internal state, but instead, we should tell the animal to do the thing that we would want it to do if its state is such that it can perform the action we want it to perform. So if you think about the, the, the preconditions of running eat in this particular scenario is that the animal is hungry, right? But deter to determine whether the animal actually is hungry or not, we actually only need information from the animal. We don't need any information from the outside. So consequently, this is an action that could be performed or this is a decision that could be determined or taken solely within the animal itself. So consequently, what would the other design look like? A design that corresponds to the tell don't ask principle would instead only call eat on the animal instance and inside the animal, the animal would perform the check on itself as to whether it is hungry, right? This of course assumes that not only is it so that the animal itself can determine whether it can be called, but we also assume that the animal can handle whatever needs to happen in the case that it does not want to perform the action we ask it to perform. So for example, if from the outside uh, we wanted to do something that's completely non-animal related in case of the animal not, not being able to eat, then the, then the situation is more complex and it's not it's not as obvious that the logic should move into the animal. But in this case, since uh, we have no path for the scenario where the animal doesn't want to eat, we have no other path of execution if the animal doesn't want to eat, the only thing that we want to, to not happen is that the animal eats, and we don't actually want anything to happen when the animal doesn't want to eat. So in that case, the animal, the, the eat method of the animal can simply silently, quotation marks, fail. Of course, it doesn't silently fail, it just silently doesn't do anything, which in this case adheres to the specification. So to recap, tell don't ask essentially says that you should 
not introspect. You should not ask objects about their internal state in order to make decisions for them. Instead, instead you should let the objects inspect themselves and determine whether they can or cannot perform the action that you ask them to perform. You could even push this further and say that because previously we stated that if all of the necessary information resides within the animal, you should make the decision within the animal. But even if you have information outside of the animal that you need in the sort of condition where you want to determine whether the thing that you want to run can be run or not, even in that case, you could even still tell and not ask, right? The way you would do that is that you would pass the information that the animal needs to, to make the decision into the animal. So instead of taking information out of the animal, you pass information into the animal, right? The, the benefit is not necessarily as obvious here, so we have to dig into more details in order to determine whether there's a, ben there's a win here or not. But in the trivial scenario, I would say that this is almost always a win. If you think about coupling, for example, if we ask and not tell, then the, the, the user of the animal needs to know about the property of, of the animal or, or the function we call to get the value, i.e. whether the animal is hungry or not. It, needs, it couples to that method, but it also couples to the eat method, right? But in the, in the scenario where we're telling only and not asking, then we're not coupling to, we're only coupling to one method. We're only coupling to the eat method. So in terms of coupling, coupling is lower in the telling scenario in this case. So that's it for tell, don't ask. This is one of these interesting design principles where it's not always obvious that there's, there's a win in telling instead of asking. So if you have examples of such scenarios, it would be fantastic if you could uh, shoot them out in the comments and we could discuss them. I hope this has been helpful. If you like this video, I'd appreciate it if you hit the like button. And if you wanna see more of these code videos, be sure to subscribe. I'll see you next time.